Hi, this is Javi with my home recording experience. And I want to talk about now about the drums. Um, well, the drums. The drums are, are fairly simple in this song. As you can see in my setup, uh, I'm not using a, a, a rack tom. Um, I came out with this groove similar to what Chad played in the song, but um, um, with some changes in the in the in the rhythm. No, he 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 drives the rhythm on the verses uh, with the toms a little bit, you know, quietly, just to go with the bass with the bass line. And well, uh, I, I kept that uh, simpler with just kick hi-hat and, and, and snare. Uh, so the song, you know, struck the, the structure of the song comes intro verse, chorus, goes, goes to the intro again, verse. It has kind of like pre-chorus type of rappy thing. Um, chorus again, after the chorus comes a great solo of the song, guitar solo, and then to the final chorus to, to, to the outro of the song. Uh, in my setup, well, I have my drums are a uh, Yamaha Stage Custom, Floor Tom 16, Kick uh, 22. My snare is a DW Collectors uh, 14 by 6.5. Um, I have Shure SM57 top uh, here on the side, like to get the batter and the, and the shells. Very nice sounding snare bottom here, SM57. And my um, overhead and mono room, which I'll show you later on. The way I'm set up here for my drums is that all my, my microphones go straight to my interface. My interface is an Apollo XAP and an Apollo Twin. I have 10, 10 unison inputs. Uh, they all go straight in, and I'm using the Unison preamps, uh, the Neve 1084 with some EQ, which I'll show you in the in the episode of the mix. So I just wanted to know. I just wanted you to know that that's the setup. Uh, microphone straight into the interface, and interface with the um, Unison preamps. So this is the setup for the kick. Uh, I have two mics, um, one condenser just outside the, the reso head, like about four, four fingers out. And I have a Beta 528 uh, just inside the, the kick to get the batter and the click. And it's right here, it's just right, right right next to the to the wrestle head as well. It's not like into the kick, it's, it's right here. So my overheads are set up like this, a small diaphragm condenser. These are Rode uh, M5, I think they are. This is, this I'm using as a, mo a mono overhead, it's a thousand lap. And this is the other um, small diaphragm condenser here. They are measured uh, from the, the distance is the same from the snare to all three of the mics. So there's no phase issues. And last but not least, I have this mic here. Uh, it's a warm audio classic condenser mic. Sounds great. And he's here pointing kind of like towards the kick and the snare to get a blend of the both. And sounds really good. You're gonna, I'm gonna show it to you in the, in the mix episode. Um, and well, to talk about what I did, um, I did something like this on the beginning with the intro and the verse. Um, he, I would, I would do something like this.
So with that feel, uh, we come into the first chorus, right? And well, chat hit the cymbal on a, on a quarter note basis and he opened up the hi-hat really fast. Uh, for me, it was too dirty. You know, I rather, what I did is I changed it and I used the right and I hit kind of like the, on the outside of the cymbal to give it a little more like a splashy, like he was doing with the, with the cymbal and double timing it so I can get the, he was doing on the hi-hat but on the right. So it will be some, something like this. Out of the verses to the first chorus. Okay, so at the end, at the end of the chorus, I did use uh, the cymbal because it was a little less, it was, it was more appropriate to use it for what the whole, the whole song is doing with the big choruses, the John Frusciante, um backing vocals, great backing vocals. It, it, it was better to use the cymbal there. So we come back to the kind of like the intro pattern and then from the intro, we go to a verse again, and it's all the same, so it'll be something like this. So there, you know, out of the second verse coming into the second chorus, uh, I did something with the with the floor tone that Chaska, Chad kind of does. He does something he he does something similar, and what I do is. So that's to come into the second chorus, which again, it will be something like this. And then from there, we go, we come into the guitar solo, the amazing guitar solo. And uh, well, on the guitar solo, we wanna give the space to John Frusciante to hear the amazing guitar solo. And then instead of using the edge of the cymbal, this, this part so it splashes too much, I use this part of the cymbal. So you can feel the right, you know, but it doesn't splash too much, so it gives the space more space to to the guitar, and well, with some feels and stuff. So it was something like this.
So with that, we end uh, that ends the guitar solo with uh, with this feel, and comes into the last chorus, the the third chorus to end the song. So the third chorus will be something like this. We come out on the upbeat. Okay, so that's it for the drums. I hope you, you know, learn something from it, the rhythms, the variations that you can do from the original to what you feel. Uh, that's what I felt it was better for me and, and what felt best for the recording, for my recording. And well, I hope you like the video. Uh, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell for notifications for my upcoming videos. Um, I also have an Instagram account. It's my home recording experience. If you want to follow me there, I post regularly when I'm recording and I, you know, talk about this and that and whatever. And we can be more in communications. You can ask me stuff. You can leave me your comments here if you want to know something, if you want to ask me something. I'm here to, you know, respond to everything. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.